Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in April. And so today I wanted to share with you some tips and ideas on how you can plant Yukon Gold potatoes in your garden. And so thanks for joining me today. So this year, I'll be growing three varieties of potatoes. The Red Norland potatoes, the Yukon Gold here, and the Kennebec variety. And like the Red Norland potatoes are a 90-day variety to reach maturity, and the Yukon Golds are 100 days, and the Kennebec is 120 days. And so this way, your potatoes, they all won't come to harvest at the same time. So I have a 90-day, 100 day and 120 days and so these potatoes here i ended up getting locally from ray's nursery and if you buy 10 pounds or more they're 60 cents a pound and the certified seed potatoes means that these potatoes were grown in a fungus or disease free soil and you want to grow these or plant these in a trench that's three to four inches deep and you want to space these about 12 inches and so once the plants start to come up above the soil maybe 6 to 10 inches then you want to start mounding your soil around the plant because it's in the mound is where these potatoes or tubers are going to develop and you want to make sure you hill your potatoes at least twice during the growing season so your mound might be 12 inches high you know uh, by the end of the season again that's where your potatoes are going to be growing. Also when I bought these from Ray's, these are just small potatoes. I picked the smallest ones out of the, the large bag that they have. This way I don't have to cut up my potatoes, you know. Now if you do get the larger potatoes, you can cut them up to like an inch and a half square and make sure there's at least one or two eyes on your potato. And you would also want them to cure or heal uh, anywhere from like th three to five days in a nice warm humid environment before you would plant them and so why don't we uh, why don't you follow me along and we'll go start planting these in the soil and so my potato patch area is right over here on the left where I'm going to be growing these three varieties of potatoes and then in this area here I I uh, got a couple deliveries large deliveries of wood chips and so these wood chips have been composting here for about two to three years and so it's in these mounds is where I'm going to be growing these potatoes the Yukon Gold, the Kennebec and also my Red Norland potatoes so I just love growing these Yukon Gold Potatoes. You know, they're just like a buttery flavor. They're so tasty and delicious. And you know, potatoes are pillars of worldwide nutrition, you know. And potatoes have been maligned over the years by the industries, you know. I'm telling you that potatoes are fattening and they turn to sugar and they make you fat, you know. But if you really think about it, there's civil, civilizations and cultures that have lived off of potatoes. It's only when we load up the potato with bacon bits or sour cream or butter do they become unhealthy for us. And so since my wife and I are plant-based, we just love growing our potatoes because that's the starch that, that fuels us. It's, it's what gives us our energy and it what fills us up, you know. Potatoes are a great comfort food. And so, so behind me here is my one mound and I'm going to use my three inch hoe here to make a ditch to plant these potatoes in. And you want to make sure your soil's nice and loose, nice and fertile. You want to make sure the soil's not, you know, soggy, wet or anything. 
right now we've had some nice uh, clear sunny days here in Pennsylvania zone 6 so the soil here has been able to to dry up some and so let me uh, grab my hoe here and let's start digging this uh, trench for the potatoes and again the trench you want to be about four inches deep and then cover your potatoes back up with a couple inches of soil and so I'm just going to take my hoe and just start digging a trench here and I end up getting about 20 seed potatoes in that five pounds that I purchased Again, make sure your trench is about two to three inches deep. You can see here the soil's nice and dry. And so I'm going to finish digging this trench. You also want to make sure that your potatoes get a good eight hours of sunlight. You know, the more the better. You know, anything that has a root or a fruit, like a potato, a carrot, tomatoes, melons, they require six to eight hours of sunlight you know the more the better your leafy greens they they can get away with four to six hours of sunlight you know leafy greens like your lettuce your kale your swiss chard and so on and so you know when you plant your potatoes just make sure that the eyes are up and uh you know you can just press them into the ground a little bit again eyeballing anywhere from 10 to 12 inches something really easy to do something really easy to grow and so just work them into the soil keep them in real nice and then uh, I'm going to grab my rake here Again, I, you want to plant these about three to four inches deep and then cover them with about two inches of soil and just grab your rake and cover the potato up. It's a beautiful time of the year. You know, you can really hear the birds chirping and it's nice if the soil starting to dry up. And then I would just take your rake and tamp it a little, in a little bit, firm the soil up. And then like I mentioned earlier, once the plant gets up about 6 to 10 inches, then you want to get your rake and hill the, or mound the soil up around your potato. And then when it grows about another 6 inches or more, you know, maybe a month or so later, then mound it up again where your mound's going to end up being about 12 inches high because it's in the mound is where you're going to be, where these tubers are going to be growing. So let me grab my hose here and we'll start watering these potatoes in. And so you want to make sure you keep these potatoes, you know, well watered. You don't want to over water them now. This will settle the soil in around the potatoes. And also, once these vines die back, that means it's time that you can harvest these. You can store them in your basement. You know, somewhere where it's around 50, 55 degrees. I store them in my unheated garage all winter. Uh, it doesn't freeze in there, so it does a pretty good job. Also, when these plants start to flower, you know, soon after that, you can dig into the side of the mound and get some smaller golf ball sized potatoes if you want. And usually by then, your snappy peas are able to harvest. So you can have some fresh peas and potatoes 
together as a meal. You know, it's one of our favorite uh, garden meals to have early in the season. So anyhow, you can see how easy this is to grow these potatoes. And so if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and how you can also reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Thanks for joining me in the garden. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.